Hi, my name is Peter Brugger with Internet Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to design an HTML5 SCADA for on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, what you need is a Spider Control HMI editor and the SCADA server which is located on uh, the Raspberry Pi. And um, you're then able to connect to virtually any PLC using field bus protocols and uh, design um, a full-blown HTML SCADA on uh, this server. The advantage about Spider Control SCADA server is that the server is virtually available on almost any operating system, so you're not only designing HMIs to uh, Raspberry Pi. You can have the SCADA server running on um, all Windows operating systems, on Windows C, on uh, Linux, Raspbian, uh, and real-time operating systems and you can have it um, ported to uh, many uh, industrial PLCs uh, from Vago, Beckhoff, you can even have it on, on uh, routers um, and on Android panels. So, um, what is the first thing you have to do? You have to download um, the software from the Spider Control website so you go to the download area, um, choose for Raspberry Pi, and you will download the HMI editor to design uh, the HMI on PC, and you uh, can download um, the SCADA server from uh, this site. So there are several um, flavors of um, the servers which are just uh, different in the number of drivers that you can connect and the number of uh, PPOs, variables, that you can uh, connect. So we take the smallest, um, we'll download that to the system, then just install uh, the PC-based editor with uh, the standard setup, and then um, look at the package that we downloaded for the Raspberry Pi. So this packet uh, is a tar file, um, and you can just open um, the text file in it, which is called info text, which will describe how to install um, on the Raspberry. I will not go into these details because you can just copy from here. After having installed um, on the Raspberry Pi, um, it is possible to have uh, the SCADA server. Uh, started automatically and we can begin to design our HMI. Um, so this will be the PC based editor and to make your own project you will just uh, go to the start page and choose new project, give it a name, place it somewhere and let the wizard do the first steps for you. So we enter a resolution, a refresh period, choose a style, create a few views, choose foreground and background, and language files, and let the um, wizard generate a few uh, pages. We then go to SCADA configuration, so this means we will now um, add drivers to connect to a PLC. There is um, many drivers available to connect to virtually almost any kind of PLCs. Uh, in this sample I will show you how to connect to uh, a Symantec S7-1200 using the ISO TCP protocol. Um, if you want to connect to other PLCs, we have also samples available for any kind of connection. So just choose um, the uh, respective tutorial to connect to the PLC that you want, and you can use it on any uh, web server. So it doesn't matter um, on which platform that your SCADA server is running, um, the project and the configuration will always be the same. So for the S7-1200, we will have to uh, select the type um, 400, we will enter the IP address 
of our PLC. We'll enter the rack number and the slot number. And this will make our driver configuration. We'll now move over to um, and do the first step for a simple HMI design. So I will choose um, an edit field and I will enter the variable name. So the variable name will now um, use the driver prefix which we just configured which is PLC0 and then uses in the case of Semantic um, the uh, Siemens notation. So this will be db1 dbw1 for instance which will just uh, connect to uh, a PPO variable. Um, we can then uh, just we will now do a build all to generate the HTML5 and then mo move over to download um, the integrated download uh, client supports both FTP and uh, HTTP download. Um, for the um, SCADA server on the Raspberry Pi, it's easier to use the HTTP uh, server. So in this case, uh, we have to enter uh, HTTP and the IP address of your Raspberry Pi where you have just installed the SCADA server. And um, you will have to enter um, a username and a password so the default um, credentials for this is admin and the password is 1234 so um, don't forget to change that <laughs> later on uh, we can now connect and download our HMI to the SCADA server next this will download uh, the driver's configuration to the SCADA server and when you've done that um, you need to uh, restart uh, the SCADA server once in order to uh, activate uh, the driver. You have, only you have to do that on only once uh, when you change the driver configuration to, to load the correct uh, driver instances. Uh, we can now have a look at our project. So uh, this is the HMI which we have just downloaded to uh, the SCADA server and we have a connection to one PL, uh, PPO on our Simatic. So um, the HMI so far um, has been uh, made very easily but it's not very impressive yet. If you want to know uh, more about uh, what you can do with spider control um, as I said, have a look at all the other examples that show how to connect to different PLCs and that show um, what you can uh, do graphically uh, with spider control. So there is plenty of possibilities to do state-of-the-art um, HMI or using vector graphics, uh, using animations and all the latest features that you would like to see, um, including um, things like that rotation, translation, translation, etc.